Welcome back. We're here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, October 18, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US dollar. And as you can see, on Friday, it had a really good day. Actually, the last four trading days uh, from Tuesday to Friday were really good uh, for the Great British Pound and the US dollar. It rallied roughly 1.5% uh, nearly and uh, hit the 100 moving average and then pulled back. And the question is whether or not we managed to break above the 100 moving average. Uh, at the moment, we are getting fairly overstretched. You can see here we are basically at the top of the bullish band. We're also significantly overbought in the RSI as we have been rallying from 1341 all the way up to the 100 moving average, roughly 2.67% at this stage. So a pullback at this point uh, uh, would not be surprising after this rally. So the 100 moving average has been... Uh, uh, area where we have found uh, resistant, significant resistant in the past. We can see right here. You can also see it here. And now we're in the same place. We're still in technically a downtrend. We're technically a nice channel here. So I wouldn't be surprised if we get rejected here and headed back down. And if we broke you know, break below these candlesticks here, then we are going significantly lower, probably several percent lower. But if you look at other technical indicators, we can see the MACD is uh, still in negative territory, but it is bullish. RSI is bullish. CCI is bullish. The stochastic is bullish as well. So these technical indicators still show uh, momentum to the ups upside, but we are running into the top of the Bollinger Band here, and usually that means that we'll pull back, but that is to be seen. So let's look at the U US dollar Japanese yen. So this has basically... Um, yes, gone parabolical and at this stage um, a very overstretched and also overbought. So, so we did have a, a flag pattern here and we rallied and we have basically, um, in this measure move here, we have basically gone to the top. So I put a line here where I expected this uh, to pull back, but it basically broke through that line and I should have made another line because we are technically testing the very highs here of uh, 2018, 2017, and so on. This has been an area, if I put a secondary line here, this area here has been an area where we have found massive amount of resistance, and I wouldn't be surprised if we see this pullback towards 112, um, or the previous highs over here. So that has to be seen. Um, MACD is still very bullish, RSI is bullish and overbought, uh, CCI is bullish, Stochastic is still bullish, and we have been basically at the top of the bullish band for a very long time now. It has been rallying and rallying from the 200 moving average all the way to the top here. It is roughly 5%, so a pullback at this point is uh, highly expected. So let's look at the Euro and US dollar. We can see that we found um, support down here. And now we have rallied a little bit up towards the 20 exponential. Um, there are four moving averages here where I expected it to rally to the 20, 40, 50, or the 100. You can see that we have rallied up towards the 50 here. It broke down, rallied up to the 100, it broke down. And now we're just making a minor rally up towards the 20 exponential and getting rejected at the 20 exponential, trading at uh, 11.59 at this point. However, there is still a lot of room to the upside. RSI is fairly low. Uh, MACD has just crossed the signal line in negative territory. So we're still in downtrend. Um, and these rallies uh, will occur uh, when this becomes uh, overstretched and also oversold. And we're kind of in that phase at this point. So we can get rejected here or the 40, 50 or 100. Passing 100, then we have the 200 just above. But the 100 looks like um, where this will find massive amount of resistance and then continue bringing down. If we break below this, um, these candlesticks here, allow around 11.53, then we're looking at uh, another fall uh, roughly towards, give or take, 11.17. Uh, so this has been a gradual grind to the downside, has rallied up towards these moving averages and then just continue going on. But at the moment, I wouldn't be surprised if we rallied further as we are 
fairly low in the RSI at this point. MACD is bullish, RSI is bullish, CCI has become bullish, so is the stochastic. And we are running in the middle here in the bullish banner and basically are getting rejected there. So let's look at Aussie dollar, US dollar. Also here we have been rallying from uh, 0.71 all the way up to roughly 4.77% uh, and finding resistant where we also found resistant in the past. We can uh, do a rough measurement here. So in this area up towards the 100 moving average and the 150 moving average is where we have found resistant in the past. We can also go all the way over here and see how often we have basically tested this area and this has broken down. So we may rally up towards 150. There is still room to the upside. But if you look at that candlestick there, which kind of looks like a shooting star, and we get a red candlestick here and break down, then it's very likely that it will break down towards the middle or even the bottom of this range. We are still technically in a downtrend. We have seen these major rallies in the past. So, so it doesn't mean that this trend has changed. It won't really uh, wouldn't say that until we basically break above the 200 moving average. But pullbacks at this point is kind of expected um, this coming week. So MACD is still bullish. RSI is also bullish and significantly overbought. CCI is bullish and stochastic is bullish. And we are basically testing the top of the bullish band and have been for quite some time. So if you look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar, this really broke through the 150 as uh, oil prices continue to increase and also the US dollar starts to appreciate, this will just get hammered. And at this point, it looks like we are going back towards the very bottom here. So we found support roughly down here at the 12, uh, 1201 and uh, at this current stage, we could drop all the way down to this bottom, which is roughly a drop of 2.76% to the downside. So if you look at the MACD, it's bearish. Stochastic so RSI is also bearish and significantly oversold at this point. CCI is bearish, stochastic so is bearish, and we're basically at the bottom here. So I wouldn't be surprised if we rallied up towards um, the 150, 200 moving average, or the 20 exponential, uh, but it kind of looks like this is just going to drop. If, if, if oil prices continue to, to increase and the US dollar starts to appreciate, and this is just going to go one way and that is basically down. So, hope you find this helpful. If you want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos and good luck and thank you very much.